Hi everyone, just um, giving the old bike crikey a clean. And um, having a look at some of the very, very basic and minor modifications that I've made since I've had this one. One of them was uh, the scratch pad on the tank, which I replaced. The other one was the handlebar ends, which I replaced. And also, I put this anti-slip um, pad on the back half of the seat. It's not really a fabric, it's not really a rubber, but um, yeah, it works, works very well. So um, my wife isn't slipping and sliding all over the place when we go two up now. So those are just um, some of the basic minor tweaks that... I've made on this since I've had it. Um, something I heard on the internet on YouTube recently was um, oh that was the other thing there of course the decals um, that was that was missing and also this one was missing and um, this this color sequence um, is, is a limited edition um, out of um, Honda Japan. Um, this came out in 1994 only and uh, there were four color sequences came out in 94 so I guess effectively you can say this one only ran for three months of that one year um, but as I was saying on YouTube just recently I heard somebody talking about chicken scratch is um, a phrase I hadn't heard before and what that refers to is the lean angle that people are getting on their tires and just having a look at mine I don't know if you can see it on here but uh, my lean angle goes up to uh, this point here, over there, and all the way over to there. So using almost all of the tyre, and um, what the significance of that is, is people like to say that um, that shows they're getting good lean angle and they can get their knee down and ride like a motor GP on the, on the roads and the highways and stuff like that. But um, in New Zealand, the cost of registering a motorbike, um, or in some countries it's called the vehicle license, and that's this tag down here, under the number plate there. Um, for this bike, this is um, 500, is it just a little bit under $550 a year, just for a vehicle license, um, to be able to ride it on the road. And... Um, the actual registration cost of that is only $24.50. The rest of it is um, ACC, and what ACC is, is it's the Accident Compensation Corporation. And what that means is basically anyone um, can come to New Zealand and ride on our roads, and if they have an accident, their medical costs are covered by the government, or effectively the end user, us, with our, with our ACC levies we pay in our vehicle registration. And because they're so high on a motorbike, it's because of the accidents that people are having. And these ones that like to get their lean angle down and um, get their knee down and look like they're riding like a motor GP person where they should be on a track, but they're doing it on the public roads, are the ones that are basically having these accidents and um, pushing the ACC component of our vehicle registration sky high. Um, this one, this bike's actually going to go into hibernation um, in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so what are we now? We've just gone into June, so winter's about to start. It's going to go into hibernation until November. Um, unless, of course, I decide that I'll go ahead and register it again for the next six months. But, um, yeah, $550-odd to register a motorbike in New Zealand because of the accident rate that people are having who are trying to get their knee down, get that lean angle going and stuff like that. So um, my, my lean angle here actually I guess looks quite good. I'm using all of the tyre but most of my riding is done at open road speeds um, through the para para which is very very twisty and windy and uh, I'll be going in um, one direction for a whole hour so that's why my lean angle looks okay there but those that ride most, mostly around city streets and um, close rural roads and stuff like that trying to get the lean angle down these are the ones that are pushing ACC levies sky high because of the accidents that we're all having. 
So um, we need to move past that, we need to think safe and just enjoy being out there. And that's, that's half of it. If we're out there, we're doing it. But um, that's my little rant and my lecture and stuff like that. But anyway, the modifications I've made. We've got um, that anti-grip, um, that anti-slip thing on the seat there. I've changed that. And I've put the bar ends on here. So very, very basic minor ones that I've made on this. This motorbike's 21 years old, it's a CBR 1000 1994 model. And um, if you can see that or not, it's only it's done 34,000 kilometres when I first got it. Um, it's done 36 odd thousand now. So it um, hasn't, hasn't had a hard life at all. And um, it's looking very good, so I'm very happy with this.